take that one low and in. It's now two and one. Billy Hartman waiting in the on deck circle. That Keen State can start to just put something together now. As a 2 1 pitch, gonna be hit on the ground towards the middle. Diving stop right there by Moore. He'll get up and make a Bad dumb idea. throw as we'll get over the head of the first baseman, Dabrinsky. But having to go back is Libby as it was just such Bad. an ugly. 0 2 on its way to Chapin. Hit sharply on the ground through the hole past the shortstop. Moore ranging over to his right, going home to score is Hartman. Going up to third and stopping there is Devin Springfield. Trevor Chapin with an RBI single, and Keene State now with their second run of the ball game, and now it's an 8-2 game. Third hit of the ball game for Keene State. Nice Vinnie piece Perillo, of hitting. 1-0, rather, to Vinny Perillo. As Perillo will lift this one in the air towards left center field, going back is King, still back. That one going to get down off the wall to the right of the 385 marker. Springfield will score. Chapin is going to be waved. Home Springfield signaling from the slide. He will slide in ahead of the tag. Applied right there by the catcher, Barsicano. It is a two-run double off the bat of Vinny Barilla. And he will cut the lead now in half for Springfield as he drives in two runs there. It's an 8-4 ball game. Bats are coming now, together for one. Keen State. Two outs here, bottom fourth. 8-4 ball game, Springfield on top. A one pitch on the way. Libby's going to put this one into right field, and it's going to go over the head of LeDuc, and it's going to hit off the wall. Libby. Using the speed, it's going to round second, head on over to third. The throw will not be in time. It's going to get by the third baseman. Libby will just stay put on third. The ball Some under runs. the bench. This one going to be ripped right up the middle. Coming in to score is Perilla being stopped at third is Sarah. He'll go back there. The throw is going to come in to the plate. And it is just a one-run ball game. 8-7 RBI single from Max Struthers. As Struthers is able to drive in the run right there, he will join the hit parade. Go ahead run, Libby at first. 1-2 to Hartman, he'll lift that one in the air to right. Going back is LeDuc, still back, and he will slide, kick, get it as it falls in fair territory. Struthers is going to be held up at third base. The throw not going to be made by the second baseman as he makes it, and he'll just slip out of his hand. Struthers will come home to score. The Owls tie it up on the error. And that is how Keen State has scored probably three runs in this ball game off of finishes in their two previous games. So you gotta shut the door on them. Pitch to Longley, he'll roll this one on the ground, past the diving glove of the second baseman, into right field, Hartman will come home to score, Springfield is held up, throw will overshoot the cutoff man and come to the plate, RBI single off the bat of Connor Longley, and now it's a 10-8 ball game. Everything going right for Keene State. Uh, two Meyer going to come set, and the first pitch on its way to Dan Sarah. He'll poke this one behind first base. It will fall in fair territory. Coming home to score is Springfield Longley right behind him. Throw to the plate is going to be in time, but the tag not applied in time. It's a two-run bloop single off the bat of Dan Sarah, and Keene State will extend the lead to 12 to 8. You got to love what Dan Sarah just did there. Just put the bat on the ball, put it in play. Two.